Combat sports are incredibly popular, and for good reason. There's something that just captivates us when two people start fighting. Nothing's more exciting in fights than seeing a huge crowd stopper, like a knockout or memorable walkout. From unforgettable fights to unexpected knockouts, there have been plenty of huge crowd stoppers throughout UFC history. Keep watching to learn about some of the biggest showstoppers in UFC history. First, we have Czech Congo's comeback. The first memorable moment from UFC we'll be covering is Czech Congo's comeback during his fight against Pat Barry. The fight began poorly for Congo as Barry managed to land a damaging combo on his opponent in the first round. Commentators began saying how the fight was over for Congo, but the referee allowed the fight to go on. Congo then returned the favor and managed to knock out Barry all in the first round. Certainly a fight that won't be forgotten anytime soon. And now, Rashad Evans' fatal taunt. Rashad Evans is a light heavyweight fighter known for many things. One of the things he's unfortunately known for is his performance against Lyoto Machida. The two were facing off during UFC 98, and Evans was defending his title against Machida. It was obvious during the first round that Evans was badly outclassed by Machida. To help counter this, Evans tried to get into Machida's mind by taunting his punching strength following a combination. Immediately after taunting Machida, though, Evans was knocked out and Machida won the title. Next up, we're going to talk about the debut of one of UFC's most famous fighters. Brock Lesnar. When Lesnar first transitioned over to UFC, he was an underdog to a lot of people. Lesnar had a background in wrestling but was transitioning from WWE to UFC, and it was thought he wouldn't do well in an actual fight. Lesnar, however, proved everyone wrong. Lesnar squared off against Frank Mir for his debut fight. Within seconds of the first round, Lesnar hit Mir with a powerful shot that dropped the far more seasoned fighter. Lesnar quickly took advantage of the opportunity and began to grab and pound Mir. Lesnar ultimately lost the fight when Mir made him submit with a heel hook, but his performance showed fans that Lesnar had legitimate fighting abilities. Now, we have Cain Velasquez and Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's fight with Frank Mir isn't the only notable fight involving him in UFC history. Another notable fight occurred at UFC 121 when Lesnar fought against Cain Velasquez for the UFC heavyweight title. Lesnar had a significant size advantage against Velasquez, however, Velasquez made up for the difference with his sheer technique. The fight started with Lesnar attempting to wrestle Velasquez. After being taken down and getting back up, the smaller fighter managed to score his own takedown. The fight turned into a slugfest, but despite Lesnar's size advantage, his striking was still outclassed by Velasquez. Velasquez ultimately won the fight by TKO. Now, the first flying front kick knockout. Knockouts are perhaps the most exciting part of any fight. Fighters often try to score them against their opponents, and fans love watching watching fighters get dropped over the course of a bout. One of the most memorable and exciting knockouts in UFC history comes from the fight between Lyoto Machida and Randy Couture at UFC 129. A minute into the second round, Machida hit Couture with a devastating flying front kick that dropped Couture cold. This flying front kick marked not only the first flying front kick KO in UFC history, but also was the last fight Randy Couture had before his retirement from the sport. Up next, Mark Hominick's hematoma. UFC 129 was a memorable card for a couple of reasons. Besides being the first fight to feature a knockout by a flying front kick, there was also the gruesome injury that Mark Hominick suffered in his fight against Jose Aldo. The two featherweights squared off, but during the fourth round, Aldo hit Hominick with a devastating elbow to the face. The strike resulted in a colossal hematoma over the fighter's left eye while his right eye was bloodied. Aldo went on to win the fight via decision, but Hominick's disfigured face after the fight lives on in the minds of fans. Next on the list, John Fitch and Georges St. Pierre. The next memorable moment we'll cover comes from UFC 87 in the fight between John Fitch and Georges St. Pierre. It was evident from the first round that John Fitch was severely outclassed by Georges St. Pierre in every aspect of fighting. Unlike some of the other fighters we've covered on this list, however, John Fitch was able to absorb all the punishment that St. Pierre threw at him. Although St. Pierre won the fight by decision, Fitch was able to take out and dole plenty of punishment. There have been a lot of crazy showstoppers throughout the UFC. From devastating knockouts and gruesome injuries to memorable fights and incredible performances, there certainly is no shortage of memorable moments throughout the UFC. However, there's still plenty more insane moments from the sports history to cover. Stick around to learn even more of the biggest showstoppers in UFC history. And now, John Matua gets stiff. During a fight, interesting things can happen to someone when they get knocked out. Things like twitching and spasming aren't unheard 
unheard of. Another interesting effect of getting knocked out, however, is stiffening up. This happened to John Matua during his fight with Tank Abbott at UFC 6. During the fight, Abbott managed to knock out Matua. Matua stiffened up with his arms held awkwardly up even after dropping to the mat. He remained in this position for 30 seconds. This was Abbott's first professional fight in the UFC, and it led to him garnering a legendary fan following. Up next, Corey Hill's broken leg. Injuries are a part of fighting, and injuries certainly are not unheard of in MMA and the UFC. Hominix hematoma isn't the only injury that lives on infamously in the minds of fans. Corey Hill's shin is another example. Corey Hill squared off against Dale Hart at UFC Fight for the Troops. In the opening seconds of the second round, Hill threw a low kick at Hart. Hart checked a kick, and it left Hill's leg broken and deformed from the impact. After dropping to the mat, the match was given to Hart. The incident has gone on to be called UFC's worst injury. Next, Pete Williams drops Mark Coleman. Pete Williams' fight against Mark Coleman at UFC 17 is not only one of the sport's most remembered knockouts, it also marks a huge upset in Coleman's career. Coleman was a powerhouse in the sport and was seen as unstoppable until his fight with Williams. Before Williams, Coleman lost to Maurice Smith, and his match against William was seen as a comeback. Coleman dominated the first round, but things changed in the second round. Less than a minute into the round, Williams hit Coleman with a kick to the head that knocked him out. Next, Tim Sylvia's arm breaks. Another memorable and violent injury to have occurred in the cage was Tom Sylvia's broken arm. Sylvia faced off against Frank Mir at UFC 48. The bout was a brief one, with Frank Mir winning the match less than a minute into the first round. Frank Mir managed to take Sylvia to the ground before locking in an arm bar. Sylvia refused to tap out and paid the price when his forearm popped and was broken, granting Mir the win. And now, Tito Ortiz gets spanked. The next memorable showstopper from UFC history comes from the fight between Tito Ortiz and Randy Couture. The two light heavyweights fought at UFC 44, and Couture ultimately won the fight by decision. As the fight was coming to its close, Ortiz went for a leg lock on Couture. As he was trying to get the lock into position, though, Ortiz left his backside exposed. Couture saw an opportunity and smacked him from behind before going on to win the fight. Now, the war between Forrest Griffin and Quentin Jackson. The main event at UFC 86 was an absolute war between light heavyweights Forrest Griffin and Quentin Jackson. Both fighters desperately wanted the title and fought tooth and nail for it for a hard five rounds. The match remains easily one of the most intense bouts in UFC history and definitely gave fans a war to remember. After five brutal rounds in desperate fighting, Forrest Griffin won the belt via decision. Up next, BJ Penn and Cal Uno. The fight between BJ Penn and Cal Uno is remembered for two different reasons. Uno's ridiculous knockout and Penn's even more ridiculous response. Penn won the fight via knockout seconds into the first round. Uno attempted to land a kick on Penn but missed and got dropped by Penn immediately after. After fights, the fighters are expected to stay in the octagon to take interviews. In this case, however, Penn ran out of the cage following his knockout victory and went to the back stages. Lastly, old MMA clashes with new MMA. The final showstopper fight we'll be covering was the bout between two UFC legends, Royce Gracie and Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes was a fighter displaying impeccable fighting and dominated the fighting scene by the time of UFC 60. He was seen as the new face of UFC. Royce Gracie, meanwhile, was a legend from the beginnings of UFC who came out of retirement to square off with Hughes and prove that the older ways were superior to the current methods. Hughes won the fight via knockout in the first round, proving the superiority of modern UFC to the old school sport. There have been plenty of memorable, insane show-stopping moments throughout UFC history. From intense wars between determined fighters to nasty injuries, the sport has no lack of memorable moments. So, what do you think? Which of these moments was your favorite? Which ones did we miss? Comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.